Hi, I'm Gina Robinson, an IB math teacher here at North Atlanta High School, and I'm going to show you how to make a Desmos activity of your very own, super quick and easy. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, guys, this is often overlooked. You do not have to make a Desmos activity from scratch. If you want to, you can. However, I already have two activities that I found by Googling. I'm just going to show you how I found them. If you ever want any Desmos activity, start by simply putting this in a Google search. I'm going to focus on the quadratic formula. As a math teacher, it does do, um, you know, all levels, including AP math as well. But quadratic formula is universal to us all. Once I quad once I search quadratic formula Desmos, I'm there go then going to look for an activity builder. This is different than the graphing calculator. As you recall from my first video, I do not want this. I do want this. If I want an additional one, I can continue my search until I find another one. So I'm just going to simply click this. Now you're going to go to the three buttons on your left side and click copy and edit. Of course, I'm splitting my screen. So for now, it's small because I want to make sure that I can cut and paste with another activity. Once I have this, I can look through it, preview it, see if it fits my needs. And I'm noticing already that for my purposes, it is missing a few things. I like to have a dedicated intro that is SEL based to check in with my students. How are you feeling today? And finally, when you are finishing, there is no submit button or turn in. These activities are active as long as you would like to keep them accessible to your students. So I like to have a dedicated beginning and end that match. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. I also like to add a few additional things which I will run through right now. So here I have my copy. First thing you want to do is edit it. So I'm going to call this 2025 intro to quadratic formula and save it. Maybe you can put your um, name like Robinson, um, whatever it is that helps you to distinguish what this activity is. Now, in order to put a slide at the beginning, I'm going to hit plus and then slide this over. I'm going to go to another version of the quadratic formula and find an intro that I like. Hmm, I don't love that one either. So, what am I going to do? I'm actually going to find a separate activity that does have exactly the intro that I'd like. So I'm going to find something I've used before. I'm gonna try intro to complex numbers, do the same thing, edit my activity. I do not have to copy this one. I actually made this one myself. And then I can just do control C and then control V for cut and paste. Okay, so now I've put this cool little Minions character that checks in with my students just to remind them that I do care about their feelings, even though we are doing math um, all class period. So what you will find when you use this, let me click preview. It's kind of funny. Um, if you're a joke person, you can put joke of the day. Um, maybe you can even put standards. I find this um, entertaining. And there are several that you can borrow throughout Desmos. Um, you want to also go through and make sure you get to the end to indicate to your students that you are indeed done with today's lesson. And then you can paste something similar. I actually like mine to match. Great job today. You're all set with a corresponding Minions character. Sometimes I put a big green check mark. Sometimes uh, you can go ahead and put a closing joke or instructions on the next activity if you are doing um, multiple tasks in one. All right. What you will find is that you do not have to be a programming expert to put self checks. You can borrow these as well. So this is an amazing feature of Desmos. You can do an order activity right here where students are putting the quadratic formula in order by steps. All math teachers know this is a big deal. You can do the same copy and paste, control C or command C and then 
control V to paste it right into your new activity. And you'll see that this has what we call a computational layer that automatically checks and informs students if it's correct or not. They just hit this button on another screen and it's automatic. Um, if you would like, we can work on that video at another time. But for now, we can borrow the best of computational layers that somebody's already worked on, leveraging best practices. Another thing I like to add as we close this quick tutorial on how to make your own Desmos activities is when your students forget some of your formulas, you can simply add them. So I am going to hit a plus right here. I am going to go and hit media. I already Googled an image of the quadratic formula. So as my students forget the steps, I can add that. So I downloaded this. I may even want something with a built out solution to include for my students. I can add that as well. Now I am going to go back to the activity I'm working on. Remember this is 2025 intro to quadratic formula. And then I can simply upload what I've already downloaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload this quadratic formula, label it, And be sure to let your students know that if they get stuck on any of the questions that you are using to check for understanding throughout the lesson, they can always go back and find these formulas. If I want to add my stepped out solution, I can do the same, simply add media and include that file as well. Let me uh, show you how that would be done. I'm just simply going to save this image this one is nicely labeled and then upload that as well. Okay, now you are all set. Don't forget to hit publish, otherwise your students will not be able to see it. Then you want to assign, if you recall from my first video, I do, you can integrate it with Google Classroom. I choose often not to because some of these independent, these activities can be independent and easily emailed um, to teachers and parents and to tutors as needed. I like to leave mine open for the entire year, but if you want it to be an assessment, you can have it activated for 48 hours, two weeks, or a year because I often use these as review activities and I want my students to go back and use those. I choose to do mine as a year. Then you're gonna hit teach, copy, and place into either Google Classroom, Schoology, or Canva, whatever LMS program your school uses. I hope this was helpful. Let me know what your thoughts are and I'll see you next time.